Right, welcome back. Last time, we started buddying up with the Ottomans. In the hopes of eventually getting an alliance, though this will take me uh, expanding my army in order to even get close to a chance of having this. Though they are surprisingly willing to do so. Honestly, I was not expecting them to become that close to be willing to ally me. It's mainly because I'm being threatened by France. <laughs> That's the real reason. Yeah. Also did some reforms, specifically um, increased wages as well as um, civil examinations in order to reduce corruption, as well as uh, rank three in the well, tax, well, the direct and indirect taxation reforms, which further boosts um, tax efficiency and whatnot. Reduces the matter cost, allows new tax types, etc. Like, you know, the inheritance, you know, the chattels tax, which is a wealth tax, as well as the alcohol excise, which is a tax on, well, food production, basically. Of course, I'm going to have to deal with the hefty amount of corruption for a while, but that should be fine. Oh yeah, and in the process of going ahead and trying to get the Ottomans to like me, I've been building up a navy, so very soon I'm going to have three light ships. They'll spend most of their time protecting trade in order to boost my income and to offset their maintenance costs, but yeah. All this helps a bit. I'm going to need more military, though. Because Pomerania, yeah. Extremely dangerous. They can already take me on myself and an allied on their own. So, yeah, plenty dangerous. Thankfully, my tech is slightly more advanced than theirs, but it's still not enough. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah, at this point, I really don't know how else I can make the war move outside of trying to force them to take more <laughs> damage. But I don't want to lose any provinces, so... If we accept this, they can't demand that with a rogue republic cast the spells. Should have fabricated a claim first, huh? And then, you know, all that. Never bothered to. I wonder. Oh, okay, so... I don't have to give up tons of money. Just a lot of it. Get a new trees with Hamburg. I mean, the question is... Well, I could theoretically annex Hamburg if I were to have no trees with them. Oh, fine. It also means I get to spend less money in the process of buying peace. managed to lose all my maneuverability. I'm stuck here and I can't exactly cross territory anymore, so... Okay, so I definitely need new allies. Okay. 
the only ones that are actually willing to accept are Poland, which is a terrible, terrible idea, or Göttingen, who's been stuck in a civil war for ages. Okay, so who's close? Oh, okay. Uh, come in. Nope. Let's nope. So, nope. Get in. Yeah, terrible idea. Terrible idea. Actually, Wurzburg doesn't sound that bad. They've got a strong army. Alright. Training recruitment. Okay. I would like to have training costs reduced. So if I'm not ha oh, having nothing but bureaucrats. Oh, that might not actually be good. <laughs> well, I don't need material costs for projects anymore, so. Let's pick you. Oh, yeah, that might cost me some stability in the process, but. Uh... Yeah, so. Bomberine, you declared war on me! <laughs> Thankfully, they took an absolutely awful Cass's Valley. Bohemia is claiming the throne of Pomerania. I certainly hope that doesn't happen, because uh, Bohemia having that level of power would be really bad. Anyway, so stuff happened. Um, among other things, I had to break all of my diplomatic agreements with Lübeck and Hamburg to get out of paying as much money as possible. So now, um, well, no longer I like that with Hamburg, the truce has expired, and I've got a gas billy due to, well, things. I'm also looking for allies, so I'm trying to grab someone that's decently strong inside the HRE. Currently, it seems like my best bet is... Hesse. Who has six K troops. And he's decently willing to help. So, let's just get that alliance before I forget about it. Negotiate alliance. Celebrate our new alliance. There we go, now we're allied with Hesse. Okay. Now we've got someone that actually has a, a chance of standing up to Pomerania. Oh, I, can, I can finally just promote the embargo. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> okay, so. As for what happened, that's pretty much about it. Uh, there was a war, some diplomatic shuffling around in the process. I'm actually trying to handle that. Plus, I've started expanding my uh, military size. I'm hoping that I don't overstep my economic, my my financial capabilities. Manpower is expensive, extremely so. My raised regiment maintenance combined with manpower cost means that I'm spending oh about uh, well well over two and a half ducats a month on this stuff. It's rather bad. 
And that's just for uh, the land military. The fleet also is costing me about 0.68 per month. Though I'm also gaining about 0.46 from it via protecting trade, so it balances out somewhat. But I need it in order to actually properly defend myself. Plus, I'm spending a huge quantity on uh, simple property maintenance, combined with the exercises, in order to even keep myself afloat. Thankfully, provincial corruption is going down, though I don't know how much of that is because of the recalled officials. It's not affected by state reach, so... At least it's enough to cancel off some of it. Uh, yeah. At least corruption is going down. State corruption is going down rather rapidly, which helps with the reduction of provincial corruption, which further helps with the reduction of, you know, feedback loops and whatnot. Though, again, it only goes so far. Republican tradition has mostly recovered. Opinion has not. No, except for the nobles. They're at around 50%, which is good. I would like to take a hit out of the wealth tax. I mean, channel stacks are a wealth tax. Same with inheritance tax. But yeah, in order for that to work well, I need to lower provincial corruption, and you need to lower provincial autonomy. Yeah. So my efforts are focused on that. Though I may do go ahead and just take advantage of Hamburg's relative weakness, because they're defended by Mecklenburg's Uh I'll have a castle's belly soon enough. I just need to train a troop. Let morale recover. And then just swoop in, siege them down. I'm not sure if Ekrembergsvin would uh, manage to get access to preserve Pomerania. They might. Though whether or not that will work, I don't know. It's really hit or miss on this. I haven't really been paying attention to casual literacy spread for a while. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, it's not much difference. Does it seem to be rich in the north? No, that's that's the English Channel. Okay. Yeah, Channel node. However, construction is progressing. Steadily. It's a bit slow, but it's doing its thing. Throwing out with England. Uh, The only direction I have is Hamburg. Uh, I guess they must have changed around the reforms or something. Evolved unitary regional militias. Well, I won't be able to tell. It's not going to tell me turns of office, right? Every four years. Okay. So that should match up, assuming everything matches. All provinces in the Holstein area. Yeah, okay, dormant. Oligarchic Republican dormant, unelected four years free city. Are they considered a free city? Well, they are a free city. Yep, free city of the Empire, etc., etc. Yeah. I'm still not certain what idea to go uh, from the gymnasium ideas, but from gymnasium schools. The new ideas group I don't get from research on that tech. Saving up admin points, but it's still the lowest one. So I might grab the middle points. Grand Army would c reduce costs even further than that. 
recruitment costs down, but far more importantly, manpower training costs modifier by 75%. Let's increase the available manpower pool. So I can conscript even more people with the same amount of efforts. Cost reductions. That's what I really need, isn't it? Because my biggest single expense in all of this is the army. Because the state army is expensive. But it's the only thing I have. The only thing I can have. So, yeah. That's good enough for now. I've gone on long enough. I'll see you again next time. Until then. Bye. Yes, definitely long enough.